Before we jump into the video, I have one quick thing to say. YouTube just demonetized my entire channel. <laughs> so there's no way for me to make any money with this channel whatsoever. I contacted the support like five times, but they just said, fuck you. We are not monetizing you, right? So that's why I created a Patreon page uh, where you can support the channel by becoming a member, also getting exclusive content like access to the Git repositories of my video projects. So you can get the source code of them, contribute and all of that stuff. And if you choose the highest tier, you will be shown at the end of every video. So yeah, if you want to check it out, just click the link in the description. I would really appreciate it. But that's it for my own advertisement. Now let's get into um, configuring NeoVim. Um, so first, by the way, you will need to install NeoVim, obviously, because NeoVim is basically Vim but with Lua support, and we need that. So um, just power-s NeoVim. After that, what is also necessary is install the unzip package because it's needed to install the clang d with mason and stuff so i always had the problem that unzip was not found the next thing like type in this command into your terminal and this will throw in the nvchat configuration into your neovim config and start neovim so let's do that and you will be greeted with an empty file and this beautiful setup right here so now i'm going to go over the main nvchat keybinds that you're going to need which are mainly control n right so this uh, will toggle the uh, tree and i have some uh, files in here so let's delete them with d you know and just press d on the file that you're on and then yes to delete them we can also create a file with a main.c we name it main.c and then enter to open the file right and um to toggle uh, to like i mean jump between our file tree and our buffer control h jumps to the left control l jumps to the right right we could um, include studio.h and in like i think there is a main snippet already yeah then print f hello world right so that's our main and our um quick hello world but as, as you can see we are not getting any diagnostics, right? So um, to fix that, it's very easy in NVChat because it has L LSP config already installed. Um, LSP is just the language server protocol that is used to give you diagnostics and all of that stuff. And to install a language server for C, what we're going to do is open a, um, new, uh, a new terminal, for example here, uh, and then go into dot config dash nvim and in here um, just type in nvim control n uh, to open the file tree and then go to lua configs lsp config dot lua right and in here you will see your lsp config and um, what you basically need to do if you want to get a new language server for your language just type in comma and then clang d because Clang D is the language server for C, and then WQ, and it will reload, which also changed the theme, because in our chat RC we have the one dark theme set, which you can, by the way, also um, change to your liking. Um, and then if you if we go back to our Hello World and reload our NeoVim, as we can see, exit success, use of undeclared identifier, and then maybe let's include stlib, right? So stlib and it's gone. So stlib. And we're getting diagnostics, perfect. And also every, um, we can do something like scanf and scanf is um, recognized. We get all of the um, arguments and stuff and everything works perfectly fine. Um, so that's basically the entire setup. If you want to use a different language, you can just um, install the LSP for the language and you can uh, type colon mason and in here you will see all of the LSPs uh, that you can install. And um, so yeah, if you want, for example, COBOL, install COBOL language support, right? Um, so, so that's actually very easy. And one very nice thing about NVChat also if you press um, escape to go into normal mode and then the leader so the leader is set to space so space th 
we get a theme menu where we can choose between lots of different themes, right? And all of the main themes and also a few more are um, specified in here. So just press escape if you like the theme. And, um, and now we have this different theme, right? So um, that's also very cool about MVChat. And what is also built in is a fuzzy finder. So escape and then leader FF and you have a fuzzy finder, right? So that's also very nice. And you can also easily open terminals with Alt H and we have a terminal, right? And also Alt, um, Alt V opens a vertical terminal, um, which is also cool. One quick tip before I will end the video. If you use C and for example, you have a make file, right? So let's create a make file and um, we have all and then GCC dash o main main.c but we want to include for example like we have an include directory right so make the include and then include we have something like header.h and now if we wanted to include header.h header.h it's not working even if in our make file we have include as an include directory um, but that's where bear comes in, which is just a um, generator that, that generates compile commands to JSON for your make file automatically. So just type in power-s bear, and um, I'm not going to do that because I already have it. Um, you can then, if you have it, type in bear-make, and as you can see, it's going to execute the make file and create compile commands to JSON. Um, which just has all of this stuff. And if you now save it, it's now working, right? Um, because it recognized it. So that's a, a neat tool if you use C. And I think it also works with other build systems, but I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so that's basically how I write my code and um, how I create a nice IDE out of NeoVim. If you liked the video, consider leaving a thumbs up and um, also checking out my Patreon. It would really, really support the channel. That's basically it. I hope I could help you and bye guys and peace out.